With the ETH P2 patch today, we have Direct3D 11 and Vulkan updates, but you're just going to have to take my word for it on the Vulkan side. These are all going to be Direct3D 11 statuses. You just saw the not sharp and sharp versions of no upscaling on a particularly difficult location. Here comes the upscalings. This is DLSS 3.7, which is upgraded from 3.0 API pull. So this is the latest DLSS on Star Citizen, at least. Here's the FSS. Here's the FSR version of it, which is, of course, on a NVIDIA graphics card, as I talked about before. And the TSR upscale, which is done by CIG, and that's also at 66%. All three were at 66%, which is the first option in the menu. And here they are again. That's why I went through them so quick. I'm just giving you 10 second clips. Don't forget, you can also use the chapters to jump around. But these are all direct 3D 11. Here comes the sharp one again. This was a suggestion by uh, two different people about sharpness being an impact on the quality of the graphics. You can see the display info too at the top, right? And here is DLSS 3.7 API at 66% upscaling. Here's the FSR upscaling at 66%. And these are all on a 4070 Ti. Graphics card, 7800X3D, CPU with 64 gigs of RAM. And there's TSRs, upscaling. This is the first option on the menu. If you just choose upscaling, that's the default, is CIG TSR. So, what are we seeing here? I think that the upscaling in general is useful to kind of paint the edges, like in these more difficult locations. I purposely went back to this, which is just outside the Habs in Lorville, because this location just seemed to really tank my FPS. And I was like, okay, if one location is really going to tear me down, let me go back there and see if upscaling can enhance it. Now, over time, I think DLSS and FSR will learn a lot and they will be able to become kind of this uh, common choice for everybody that's not rocking some crazy and insane graphics card. Even with a 4070 Ti, this game really, due to its lack of op optimization, because we're still in the building phase, not the polishing phase of this game, and due to the fact we're still in an alpha of a very uh, unique game that has a lot of entities streaming in and out and a lot of other crazy things, uh, and the fact that I insist on very high graphics settings. Most of my settings are on very high and high. And I would say that on the direct 3d 11 uh cycle uh of running things and rendering it it presents like a a historical note here of a time where we're going to have both options and both options will still be very good choices uh last last video i was very optimistic and i, I would say that i was kind of overthinking it that vulcan is the only option in this particular build i cannot show you the vulcan parts that i ran and i went back and tried it again after i noticed my video was like this and i'll explain what happened but there was a strobing effect on the video capture so what i was looking at looked great and i actually liked it more vulcan at dlss 66 percent you're gonna have to take up my word for it that it looked great i think direct 3d 11 Remember, I've seen these because I was editing these and I've really had some time to stare at these as well. I think it looked great as well. So, <laughs> but if I'm not recording currently, I would be using the Vulcan on DLSS at 66%, which is like the, the, the good looking quality option. And um, not on the performance side. I'm more in, interested in enhancing the quality of the visuals and ideally picking up just a few frames uh, which i think is what upscaling is really all about where it takes some of the pressure off of your graphics card that's not like a 4090 or something insane like that and allows you to have some taste of those higher levels of performance that these graphics cards have and i think over time as the apis get better and better and as these designs get more and more uh, in tune with Star Citizen, I think that it's going to be much easier for everyone to benefit. And I think that there's room for both DLSS and FSR. 
As a reminder, FSR traditionally is kind of an AMD thing, but it's useful both on, it is used on both NVIDIA and AMD cards. And it is seen as kind of a general purpose upscaler, whereas DLSS is NVIDIA. And from what I'm hearing, the 3.7 API that we moved to only really has some of the more enhanced features for the 4000 series graphics cards. So it may, of course, have some optimizations and tweaks and such in it. And of course, some growing pains like the strobing of capture video that I'm ca that I captured on this with, of course, up to date drivers, by the way. Um, well, I'm sure that'll be fixed in a build or two. But uh, what we're seeing is uh, that DLSS tends to favor when you're talking about 3.0, 3.7 APIs tends to favor the 4K series graphics cards for some of the options. I absolutely could see NVIDIA uh, guys that are still running the 1080 Ti or, you know, one of those one of those old school still still running great graphics cards or the 2000 series or even the 3000 series uh, considering FSR. And I highly encourage you to do so. Test out whether DLSS or FSR upscaling is worth it. And as a note, the default right now is in the options menu when you go to escape and then you go to graphics is the second tab from the left. What you're going to see is that there's no upscaling on and you're in direct 3D 11. In order to use Vulkan, you have to restart the you have to restart the the uh, the program. And um, if you so if you want to use Vulkan, also bear in mind that if you're going to capture any video or even highlight reels, you're going to have that strobing effect issue on this patch run. But I'm sure that this build will change in a build or two. It'll be good again. So anyway, I would highly recommend you try both upscalers. You do not need to restart the whole game just to even turn on upscaling or change the upscaling. All those clips you saw are just me going back into the options menu between the cuts and literally changing it over to the different versions of upscaling or turning off the upscaling, turning on the upscaling, turning on the sharpening, and all those things are available. So see what you want to see here and then make sure it works for you. You know, so that's my recommendations right now. Uh, it only takes a couple minutes and you can use these locations. Remember to choose a location that has a lot of lighting sources, that has a lot of shadows ideally, and also ideally something moving like that, like the fan in this one, or in the case of my other video, the cityscape out of the new Babbage Habs as well. Habs, for whatever reason, or at least just, just by chance now, seem to have really good spots to uh, really tax your graphics card, and that helps you get this test right. And they don't change over time, so aside from day-night cycle and some storms and whatnot, if you count Lorville and and the blizzards of Hearst, uh, of New Babbage. But, um, <laughs> but um, what I would say, and Hurston, technically, the sandstorms versus snowstorms. But uh, what, what, what you want to keep in mind, and the most important take-home here is find a consistent spot, choose a couple of them, and don't forget in a bunch of builds later to maybe check one more time, make sure it's good, especially when you get closer to live. Uh, I've had times where when I first started this game and they started adding some weird stuff like film grain to as default and such, and I had that stuff on and I had friends telling me like, hey, you got to take that film grain off. You know, have you tried? And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so much better um, as an effect on your view. And also uh, things like shake and other things. I think upscaling is going to become another one of those things. Hey, what kind of card you got? Oh, you got a two, you got a 2000 series NVIDIA card. Hey, you, don't forget to use FSR or, and you know, um, <laughs> or, oh, you got, you, you upgraded to a 4k series. Oh, well, you probably want to get a DLSS, get on there. Um, it's really good. This patch cycle. I think it's going to be something for a lot of people. And of course the big question mark in the room is, is Intel going to be able to jump onto this upscaling? How well will it operate? You know, um, and will they be able to enjoy consistent gameplay and also video capture? That's the other side of this coin. Don't forget for many, not for all, but for many at some point in the, your, your game time, you're going to want to, you know, at least get some highlights or some instant replay going, um, help out a friend with their recordings, what, whatever. And you're going to want to be able to capture those experiences. So you don't want a flickering mess if you're going to do that. And uh, yeah, 
that's all I got for now. These are adventures in this on the PTU uh, as of patch 3.23 EPTU wave 1 9145576. They were talking about making an additional wave open, I think, uh, or a, multiple waves. Uh, I don't know how far that went, though, because this has just been published and it's wave 1. And earlier in the day, they mentioned if this stays consistent for a few hours, they're going to consider it opening up to more waves. I hope that happens. And I'd like to see you in the EPTU, get your own time in there, have your have some good experiences, and be able to help make this game the best dang game we got. All right, fly safe.